What's up everybody, Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is a Wax Party promo break, guys, and a brand new release today. 22-23 Bowman University Best Basketball. This is a four case break, which is 32 total boxes. And it is a random first letter, first name, number one. And again, guys, Wemby's are live in this. I've seen them already. So Wemby Yama is a live autograph in this. Guys, of course it is a sticker, but he is live. No redemptions in this one, at least not that I know of, but... I have seen his colors be live. And of course, guys, all cards ship. Everybody gets a random letter from the list below. And of course, as your example, if you get randomized letter V and we pull any Victor Webb and Yama, that card will go to you. And uh, yeah, let's do the break, guys. Here we go. Roll it. It is a five and a four nine times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times. Five, four, nine. Nathan at the top, down to John. Nine times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, nine, nine. EG down to PF. I don't know where I don't know where the V's at though. Let's look at the top here. So Nathan E G combo as well as H. John with S. Danny with J. Nathan with K. John with W Z and all other letters. John with L N as well as C T B M. Aaron with D and then John with R A and V. Congratulations, man. As well as PF. And actually, man, I, you, I think you dominated this break, John. I mean, you played the odds game. Got any potential scoots. Caitlin Clark. Etc. So, pretty solid. Now, I don't think anybody's going to make any trades for letters. Just because I don't think John's going to want to give up any of those letters. So... I'll give you a quick 30 seconds to look at your sheet of team numbers or letters again, and then we'll start. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, guys. First case. I'm gonna rip like pretty much almost all the boxes first. It's usually hoops basketball, Mike. 
Hoops basketball, Donruss, but Hoops is usually number one. I think it's pretty exciting. I like it. You know, obviously, it's not like he's a horrible player. I think a lot of people have character issues with him, right? But just think he wasn't really happy playing there. Or hasn't been happy where he's been playing. So, to our knowledge, he's very excited to join LA. You know, he's speaking to his ex-teammate, Gabrikov. And I think the one thing is that... I think a lot of people don't realize it, but... Although living in Los Angeles is, like, super expensive. Like... If you're a famous athlete and you're like a multi-millionaire, it's not that crazy of a hit for you, probably, right? <laughs> so, Gabrikov, of course, being traded from Columbus to LA, it's a big total just shock and change, right? And honestly, I, I, I didn't think he wanted to stay here, and I think he made it clear he didn't want to stay here in LA when he first got traded. He wanted to explore the wanted to explore the trade market or the, the free agency, but I just think that he enjoyed love living here and love the community. And I'm sure he probably has a house now where all the NHL players do down, down the street from here, you know? Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach. So I think obviously that kind of influenced him too. Like, hey man, I didn't want to live here in the beginning either, but man, waking up to like, you know, 75 degree weather by the beach every day is like, obviously, very relaxing since he's literally in the cold every day, right? Playing in ice. But yeah, no, I'm happy. I mean, I think I don't think we overpaid for him too much, and I think the way the contract was structured, it should help. So, and he's still a big time player, you know. And I think he said he was excited to play with Kopitar, play with Dano. I think he obviously is a has the potential to be a good two way defenseman or two way offensive and defense uh, offensive center, defensive center. So. Happy for that. But yes, that's the one thing that I, I, I honestly think Velarde was kind of a little salty that the Kings didn't want to pay him. Which for the Kings, man, I mean, I love Velarde this year. I mean, I might have to sell his RPA that I just bought like six months ago now. But, you know, I think what Velarde was that he wanted to get paid big time money because he had a big season. But the one thing is that he needed to understand is... What most people won't do is that they're not going to pay this guy top dollar over five, six million a year, probably, if not more. Especially with the chronic back issues he has, you know, with, um, you know, just the injury, the injury report on him. And it's just, he hasn't been healthy up until this season. And even this season, he got injured. So I don't think the Kings are willing to pay him. So since they weren't willing to pay him, I think he kind of got a little upset. And I think he was happy to be traded. Now he's back in the Canadian market team. Which, obviously, I'm trying to say that Kings fans don't love hockey here, but... I think that's just more of the emotional stuff. You know. But I hope I hope he does well, you know. But I just feel like when you've had that many injuries in your first couple years of your career and you've had chronic back issues in your hockey career, it's kind of hard for a team to fully commit. But if Winnipeg really wants him, they'll, they'll pay him what he wants, you know. But you know how it is. It's more like believing in you. So if you don't, if you feel like you're the team that doesn't believe in you, then you don't want to stay there and play there, you know. And I'm not saying the Kings didn't believe in them, but they just, they just were trying to be realistic with their money, really. But I hope he stays healthy, you know. I root for the guy. This dude obviously fell big time to the Kings. He should have been a top five draft pick a few years ago, but fell to the Kings. And obviously had those back problems, injured his first couple of years, and then finally this past season was healthy enough to be on the team and play, and he dominated and, you know, had a pretty pretty extensive injury towards the end of the season, which kind of hurt the Kings when it came playoff time. But yeah, I mean, I just think the Kings now need a goalie. <laughs> they need to, they need, they need a goalie. And uh, they only have like two, three million to, to allocate to that now after the draft pick signing. So 
I have a feeling they're gonna have to trade somebody. And although I don't want like someone like Arvidsson to be traded or like Trevor Moore, but those guys are getting paid like you know four or five million a year. Which, if you're gonna want to pick up a, a decent goaltender for a trade, you're probably gonna have to give up one of those guys, and it also helps with your salary cap. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. Oh, countdown or free agency? A free agency starts in four minutes? Three o'clock? Lakers offer to Austin Reeves with a four year, $52 million deal. Will Austin Reeves accept that deal is the question. You might have to, man. That that doesn't sound like a. I mean, don't get me wrong. The dude's gonna get paid fifty million dollars, but it doesn't sound like it's like. It doesn't sound like it's like the best deal Austin Reese can probably get. I mean, obviously the Lakers can only give up so much money. But I think it's gonna be Austin's choice, right? Does he want to stay in LA, live in Los Angeles, be probably the most like likable guy on the Lakers right now, or? Go to a new city and maybe make a little bit more money.
put on NBA TV. We don't know if he wants to go back home somewhere closer to there either too, right? But I'm just saying, you know, it's, I think for some people too, like it's, it's a big change to go back, start new somewhere else, you know? NBA TV guys are boring. Total boxes right there. So there you go, Draymond Green has agreed on a four year, $100 million contract to return to the Warriors. I should just leave Shams up on my, on my feed. All right, here we go. All right, flashing lights. We got Anthony Black, number two one and ninety or two ninety nine. So Anthony Black, of course, is going to John Letter A. Little die cut. And the first one is a Drew Timmy autograph there for Gonzaga. So Drew, letter D is Aaron Billingsley.
A green Will Richardson. Go Ducks. Out of 95. W is John. Then we got a Ryan Nebhard. Letter R. One of John. Jordan Walsh. Yeah, if you notice, everybody's so upset with the layoffs. Like, you know, they, they let go of, like, Susie Kohlberg and stuff like that. Um, what, a 99? Did I say something wrong? Oh, green out of 99. Sorry, did I say it wrong? 299, 99. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Um, they let go a lot of, like, the older... Um, you know, anchors that have been there for so long, but it only makes sense why they got let go. I mean, they've probably been there for so long, like, usually the ones that get laid off, sorry, usually the ones that get laid off are the ones that are long-term, right? I mean, they just, they probably get so much better benefits and more of this and that for the company than the people that just got hired, you know, five, ten years ago, so it only makes sense that those are the anchors that are being let go now. And it's not to say, and it's not to say, you know, Haley, Cavender to 250, letter H. It's not to say that those people are horrible. It's just that it only makes sense that they're going to get let go. Cam Whitmore. Thank you, buddy. 20 out of 99. But yeah, it's not just, yeah, it's not just on, it's just total, just all Disney, right? It's not just ESPN, of course. Like Disney in general. Livingston. And then Julian Phillips. That's a cool little one there. We got Khalif Battle. Letter K, Nathan. Boston, letter A out of 99, uh, 99 out of 100, John, Proctor, Sky Clark, letter S, John Jackson, Malik, Tiger Campbell, Letter T, going to John, out of 250. We got a leaky black out of 25. Letter L, that's going to John with an L N combo. Caitlin Clark, refractor. Right, we got Felix Opara to 199. We got uh, Bazoulis. He's a protected draft lottery. He actually sells really well. Letter M, John, for next year's draft. Jared McCain. Russier Bolton, Jalen Clark, insert, and Keyshawn, bar with me, uh, letter K going to Nathan,
All right, next one. Brandon Miller. Clark Dye Cut. And then we got Donovan for UConn. Klingon. To 75. Nice hand to Emmanuel. That's nice. That's a blue. 62 out of 150. Letter H. That's going to Nathan. We got Hannah Cavender. These are the Cavender twins, right? Out of 99. Letter H going to Nathan. We got Jared McCain. Letter J going to Daniel. I thought my shit was moving. <laughs> There's Haley Cavender. Out of 250. And we got Deron Holmes. Letter D. Going to Aaron Billingsley. Caleb Love, letter C, John Jackson to 100. Trey White out of USC, letter T, letter John. left school? I thought they were getting paid a lot of money from Miami. Well, the University of Miami, actually. Oscar. $2.99. Letter O, that is uh, all others with John. They're doing WWE now? That's crazy. Whoa, die cut. Out of Arkansas, that is Anthony Black to 50. That's pretty sick. Later, man. See you later, Chris. Uh, letter A and John. <laughs> That's a pretty big ch change. Going from basketball to WWE. I remember there were like an internet sensation, obviously, right? I mean, TikTokers. So, like, entertainers. Kyle Lofton. RJ Davis. All right, last box, guys. See if we can get something nicer here. We got Jalen Cook to 150. We got a constellation of greatness. This must be an insert, maybe? Maybe I just didn't notice it. GG Jackson. And Bowman Masterpieces, Livingston. Autograph. That is Chris Livingston, 64 out of 99. Letter C going to John. Constellation is a short print? Gotcha. So a one brick case type of deal probably. Hunter Car Tour. Or Cat Tour. Through Timmy. And Hannah Cavender is the autograph. Letter H. Going to Nathan. All right, well, 
No Wemby or Scoop. In this case. Now remember, this is a little different though, guys. Bowman's Best University uh, is a lot different from Bowman Chrome. So, obviously, the price for the per box is a lot cheaper, first of all. But, you know, it's also not going to be like Bowman Chrome, where one of those bigger guys are guaranteed in a case, or at least it felt like that. But, did get some good names, though. These ones that I recognize now. Hanson Emanuel is really nice, too. Bazoulas, like I said, he's supposed to be a lottery pick next year. Yeah. I didn't see any base, but I'll double check it. I just don't think there's any base for him either. Let me pull up the checklist too. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't make a base for him, but let's pull it up really quick. Oh, okay, so he's easy to get. Okay, so he's card number 51. All right, I'll, I'll go back and look. I mean, it's not a big deal. Everything's shipping, but it's just going to be a base card. It seems like he is a base, and then he just has an autograph. So he literally only has two cards. He's just a base. Here, let me drop the link, too, just in case anybody wants to see it. But don't worry, John. I'll go back and get those base cards for you, man. Don't worry. They're probably not going to be as, uh, as like, the short printed ones like last year. But I'll definitely go get them right now. You believe the refractor is that it's in the 200s, yeah. I, I honestly don't think the base card is going to be $200. I could see it being like $20 to $50, though. And obviously, if you start getting, like, parallel colors and stuff like that, then that's where it really goes. But remember, this is Bowman's Best. It's not like a Bowman's First, so it's going to be a lot different. Well, I'll go back and find it really quick. There wasn't actually that many base cards. I haven't found it just yet, though. I'm gonna get in a stack. You guys sure? I mean, I'm sure I probably missed one or two. He's definitely much more short printed though because I've seen like the same names pass by like seven times already. Unless I put it to the side and I didn't even realize it. There's one. Found one. one yeah he still must be more short printed though guys to be honest because like I said I haven't seen the same names over and over again 
And that's the only one Vinyama I've seen so far. I have a smaller stack left right here. But now that I know he's a base, I didn't expect him to be a base. That's why I was kind of flying through it. Even Caitlin Clark is kind of sharp printed. I only found like two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Found a Brandon Miller refractor. Should be okay too. Alright, there was literally only two. Two of them out of this whole stack right here. So if those are going for, you know, 50 to 100, well, that pays for almost a spot. All right, I'll make sure to try to find those now. I didn't realize that he was actually a base in this. I thought he'd be like a short print again. So there you go, there's some Wemby bases there. Yeah, I figured there wouldn't be that many if they did put them. They want to definitely milk him as much as possible. Okay, cool. Let me grab the next case. I have all three behind me. Wow, Bruce Brown signed with the Indiana Pacers. Man, that dude got paid. Two years, $45 million. Bruce Brown had a great damn season this year, too. Jeremy Grant agreed on a five-year deal, $160 million to remain in Portland. Tyrion Prince is finalizing a uh, deal with the Lakers. Kobe White is re-signed with the Chicago Bulls. Nice. So can the Denver Nuggets repeat again without uh, a bench player off the bench like Bruce Brown? Now they'll be able to, I guess, replace him, right? Find somebody else? Or maybe that's like uh, more time for Christian Brown?
you guys remember which son that Jeremy Grant is? Is that Horace Grant's son or the other Grant's son? The other brother. Kuzma coming back to Washington.
Also, too, guys, Scoot Henderson doesn't actually have a base card. He's only in an autograph, it looks like, too. I wanted to look up to see if he had a base card, but it doesn't look like he does.
All right, case number two, all ripped and ready to rock and roll. Here we go. You got a RJ Davis, blue to 150. Nick Smith Jr. And we have a Jacob Toppin, not related to Obi. Jacob, letter J, that is going to Daniel. There's Victor Webanyama. Caught him this time. Mikey Williams. Timmy Diecutt. And then we got a Brandon Miller. Autograph right there. For Alabama, letter B, John. There you go, buddy. All right, we got Constellations of Greatness, Mark Mitchell. So they say it's like a case hit, super short print. Letter M is John. Then we have a Caroline. Letter C, John. Jerace Walker. Letter J. Going to Daniel. Trey White out of two fifty. You got Khalif Battle, letter K Nathan. Avery Anderson. 99. And we got PJ Hall, letter P, going to John Jackson. Get to green to 99. Trey White to 250. You got Trey Alexander. Letter T. John. The Juan Harris Jr. Number to 199. Letter D, Aaron. Block die cut. Oof. Gold, Adam Flagler. 
Going to John. Number to 15. Woo! There we go. What a Victor Webb and Yama refractor. So I guess the cool thing about him having a base is that he might actually have colors this time. So you, if you don't get an autograph of him, if you can get like a color Victor Webb and Yama, that's going to be big time. There you go, John. Starting to heat up a little bit. Tracy Jackson Davis to two fifty. We have a Jet Howard autograph. Jay is Daniel. We got Jalen Cook. Jay is Daniel again. Darius Walker and then Arthur Paluma. Letter A to ninety nine. John. All right, three more boxes, guys. MJ Rice. Nice Brandon Miller right here. And Hannah Cavender, that's a blue, 10 out of 150. Letter H is Nathan. Roddy, Gail Jr. And then we got a Jalen Hood, Shafina. Letter J, Daniel. All right, next box. We got a Kiki Rice orange. That's the first orange I've seen. Out of 25. Letter K, that is Nathan. We got Judah Mintz. Letter J, Daniel, to 150. Kaleo Ware. Letter K, it's Nathan. Caitlin Clark Refractor. We got Ernest. Who Dead Jr. 200. We got Arthur Kaluma. Hello oh, there for letter A. John. And then Deron Holmes. All right, last box, guys, and then we'll go on to case three. All right, we got a Khalif battle at a seventy-five. There's a Wambanyama base, and then another Arthur Kaluma to 150. 
PJ Hall. And Makai Ashton Langford. Letter M is John. All right, you guys, and there you go. So this time, we ended up getting a Victor Webinyan Refractor and two base like the last case. So there's that. And then, of course, I think this case, the big autograph was that Brandon Miller autograph. So let's uh, keep it going then, guys. Yeah, that's not too bad, too hard, John. I mean, the good thing is that we still have two more cases. But yeah, if the refractors are really going to go for 200 man, I mean, I personally think that price is not going to sustain so long. So, good thing is that, you know, we're pretty caught up when it comes to the shipping. I think we're already shipping out breaks even from, like, yesterday. So, I think this would be perfect time. You get it just in time for Summer League, and if he kills it during Summer League, just, just get rid of those bad boys, man, you know? Turn it into some other web and yamas. Because there'll, there'll be more products, of course. That's the one thing. With with this season coming up, there's going to be a lot more products. And once Panini's able to start making normal cards, base cards, stuff like that, then that's where that's going to take over. But the only disadvantage they're going to have is that they won't be able to sign. They won't be able to have any on cards of web and yama. But, but you'll get that through tops. Yeah, see, Flawless is going to be wild because you can still get Logo Man still, you know? <laughs> oh, hear that? Kyrie Irving agreed to a three-year deal to return to the Dallas Mavericks. Three year, $126 million deal.
<laughs> well, Dallas was the only place that he was going to get his max deal if they gave him that or, or paid him the most money. That was the only place that I'd be able to do that, but... I just don't think there's a lot of options out there for him. And honestly, it's not the worst thing to play with Luka. I, I just... I just hate that, you know, I think Kyrie's such an amazing basketball player, but obviously it hasn't worked out for him in a lot of places since since Cleveland. But, I mean, if they can work together with him and Luka, you know, obviously now they'll have a full offseason to train together and work on things together. I mean, Kyrie's still going to get you like 27 points a game. But it's just they have to learn to play with each other as a problem. Now people like to talk to him as a cancer and stuff, but... I don't expect them to do too much. I mean, they might just go out and get like a veteran center. Maybe a little bit more veteran depth, but I, 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 I don't see the Thunder doing too much, to be honest. I think as long as they have Check come in and start and play, they got their starting five already. And, you know, they got the backups already too, just in case. But I think if anything, bring in a little bit more veteran presence. Definitely need a, like a veteran big man. I don't expect them to do too much. I hope this upcoming season. He should be. I mean, he probably, honestly, could have played if, like, the Thunder went on, like, a deep playoff run. But, obviously, barely made the play and lost after the second game. But, yeah, he should be back and ready to play this year. Johnson, Reggie Jackson re-signed a two-year deal with Denver, Reg uh, Cam Johnson staying in Brooklyn, uh, Chris Middleton re-signed with the Bucks. I forgot that in the NBA, as long as you didn't play one game, <clears throat> you'll be considered a rookie the following season. It's not like the NHL or, or the NFL. Like NFL doesn't have any rookie rules. If you miss your entire rookie season, oh well, you're not a rookie anymore. Hockey, I think what? You have to play at least 26 games to be considered a rookie. And then your entry-level contract kicks in. 
So yeah, I mean, there's a chance. I mean, I don't know, honestly. We don't know how it's gonna go. Maybe Chad gets injured again. Maybe Wamanyama gets injured or he doesn't play so well his rookie season. Obviously, there's chances that other rookies like Scoot and those guys that are gonna get playing time, you know, play better. But I can see Chet dominating too. Even though he's a really skinny dude, I mean, so is Wamanyama, but as long as those guys can stay healthy, I think they can play. Chet looked really good in Summer League last year, too. I actually wonder if Chet will actually play Summer League this year. He's technically eligible again. He just probably can't play any more Pro-Ams. He got injured, actually, at that Pro-Am in Seattle. That was hosted by, uh... Who was it hosted by in Seattle? It was like in this old gym that like only had a capacity of like X amount of thousand and they had over uh, too many people in there that it got the, the floor all, got the whole place kind of little humid in there because there was so much breathing. That's where he got injured actually. So I don't expect him to be playing any more pro-ams unless it's like a summer league. No, I do not. Las Vegas Thunder, what is that? Yeah, I was I was a little kid when that happened then. Probably why I don't remember him.
Oh really? I, I think she works for the Kings now. That's correct. Yeah, she's the hockey operations and prospect advisor for the Kings. All right. Here we go, guys. Case number three. Rassier Bolton. To 100. And then we got a Kendrick Davis. To 150. There's Wabanyama. Base. LJ Cryer. Alice John. To 250. And we got Theron Holmes. Nice hand to Emmanuel Blue. Nathan Letter H. Derek Lively. Jordan Walsh. Letter J, going to Daniel. PJ Hall. To 189. And Ryan Nepar. Letter R, John. To 99. <laughs> Leaky Black, letter L. Going to John. Kalen Clark Refractor. Base. And Orange Armando Bacot. Letter A, John. To 25. And we got Jalen Washington. Letter J going to Daniel. Box. There's Wemby. So it's two base cards already. We got Arterio Morris, gold to 50. And then we got Julian Phillips, letter J Daniel.
Deron Holmes to two ninety nine. Chris Livingston. Letter C, John. All right, four more boxes here, guys. Kamari lands. Letters K, which is Nathan, to 99. Then we got Kyle Lofton for Florida. Letter K, 24 out of 99, Nathan. We got Brandon Murray out of 75. Letter B, John. And Jared McCann Blue out of 150. Letter J Daniel. Khalif Battle. Letter K. Oscar, letter O's, all others to 199. And we got Trey Alexander. Letter T, John. Cavender. The two ninety nine. Judah Mintz. Letter J. Daniel. All right, two more boxes, guys, and then we can go on to case four. Trey Alexander. Arterio Morris. Letter A, John. And then Jaden Shut. Letter J Daniel. Walker. There's a Wyman Yama, so there's three base cards in this one. Trey White. Alrighty, folks, last box. This case has been a little, a little quiet, I feel like. Hopefully this last box can save us. Jalen Washington. GG Jackson. Winner Nathan.
I see a gold auto. Come on, baby. Make it a big one. Make it a big one. Jalen Bridges. And it's Ernest. 43 out of 50. Letter E is going to Nathan. Alrighty, folks. So here are the autos. Here we got one Levin Yama base, two, and three. Alrighty, folks. One more case. I, know, I just want to do better for you guys, John. Especially you, man. I, I just want to pull Web and Yama too. Just personally. It's like whenever you, whenever you're a breaker, you just want to want to pull as much fire as possible. But the Web and Yamas are adding up, so I guess that doesn't. It's not a bad thing. And we did get one refractor, but I feel like that last case just didn't have any big autos, so this one better make up for it. Also, too, guys, Carl did a little damage as well on that uh, Panini 1 football. The random number block is now down to four left. 
There were no fillers needed to fill that up. That's a pretty high-end break, but it does give out two Wax Party spots, so definitely best odds. And not only to get a big hit, too, you never know. So four left straight up. <laughs> it's brutal when you're not in it. Guess what, man? I was projecting me to take three hours to rip this. It's looking like it's only going to take me two. So... Wow, Gabe Vincent just signed a deal with the Lakers. All right, guys, last case here.
All right, here we go, guys. Last case. KD Johnson. At a 189. We got Ryan Nebhar. Lauren Betts. And Caleb Love, gold. 47 out of 50. John would let her see. Alright, we got Kamari Lance. 199. Khalif Battle. Autograph. Letter K is Nathan. Nice, Kaylin Clark. What a purple. 91 out of 250. Jacob Toppin. Letter J. Lauren Betts. Brandon Miller. Jalen Bridges. Another one for letter J, Daniel. Evan Yano. Aliyah Boston. Out of 50. And we got Leary Leaky Black, sorry. It's a blue to 150. John Jackson with that one. Drew Timmy. Leaky Black. Frankie. Collins. The two ninety nine. Jaden Zachary.
season is more about the first ball deal, bring back Draymond, and it's time for both of Rudy and Dante Kaminga to really step into the equal role with the Warriors. And if that happens, then the minimum contracts may be on the thing as you think, as important as you think. Flashing lights to 50 Proctor. To leave battle. Ooh, a one Minyama refractor. Another one there for you, John. Brandon Murray. Out of 99. There's another one Minyama base. So two base and a refractor. And Brandon Miller. Another one for letter B is John. Jeremy Roach out of 50. Philip Kowski. Kyle. Letter K. Nathan. NJ Rice. Kaylin Clark, another color. To 199. A nice Bazillus. That's us. John would let her in. And he's projected a lottery pick for next year. All right, two more, guys. Bit more. We got Malik for now. Blue to 150. Malik, letter M is John. Anthony Black to 150. JJ Starling, Julian Phillips, Letter J, Daniel, with another Webin Yamas, three base and a refractor. All right, guys, last box here. Judah Mintz. To 70, 73 out of 199. Drew Timmy, letter D, Aaron Billingsley. It's a refractor. Brandon Miller, refractor. Wow, we didn't get a Webin Yama 
autograph, but we did get a purple color now. And that is 241 out of 250. Well, at this point, we'll take that, right, John? And Ryan Nebhardt. Letter R is John. Cavender. There you go. Alrighty, folks. So, let me do a quick little recap here. I'm just going to do it for the autographs only. And then we'll do the rest. I mean, you can see the rest of it as a, as a break, but I just kind of want to get all these separated here. All right, well, let's just start with some of these. So these were kind of like little short prints here. Constellations of Greatness, G.G. Jackson. A lot of women yamas, one refractor, one, two, three, four base. Another Constellations there. Five, six, seven base. Caitlin Clark colors here, which is really nice. Another refractor there, a couple more base there. And then we hit a women yama purple. So all in all, I know, I know uh, it does add up. So not too bad here, a ton of base. A couple of refractors and one color. Now these are some of the ones I was toppling, but then I just wanted to kind of get the break going. So, Timmy, Nebhard, uh, Anthony Black to 50, Bazillus, Brandon Miller. Had a couple of Brandon Miller autographs and Bazillus autos, which again. And then, of course, Walker, Caroline, Toppin. Hanso Manny was a really nice one, too, a blue. Let's actually top with that now. Everything will be top loaded, though, tonight, so don't worry. Got a couple of the Cavender twins as well. That's Hannah. You got Livingston, Masterpieces to 99, RJ Davis, Trey White, Deron Holmes, Jared McCann, Keyshawn, Leaky Black, Sky uh, Clark, Cam Whitmore Green, Khalif Battle, Neb Hardigan, Timmy, Phillips, Malik, Filkowski, Battle, Zachary, Leaky Black. A couple of Leaky Blacks, honestly. Jalen Bridges, Jacob Toppin, Khalif Battle. A lot of repeat ones, honestly. The checklist isn't that crazy. Caleb Love, Gold, Neb Hart, Ernest, Gigi Jackson, Shutt, Artero Morris, Mins, Alexander, Battle, there's a Kyle Lofton Green, Livingston, Phillips, Washington, Black again, Neb Hart, Walsh, Holmes, Kendrick Davis, uh, Ashton Langford, Kaluma, Kaluma, Kaleo Ware, Hood Shafino, Hannah Cavender was a nice color. Another Kaluma there, Jet Howard, Adam Flagler, Trey Alexander, PJ Hall. So that's pretty much it, guys. Obviously, there was a lot of colors, um, obviously, in the break. So if you want to watch it. Actually, it didn't take too long as much as I, as long as I thought it would. But we did get a lot of colors. And obviously, everything will ship. So do not have to worry about that. So appreciate it, guys. That was a four-case break of Bowman University basketball best. A random first letter, first name. Number one, guys. Thank you. Now, let's switch scenes, though. One more thing. This is a Wax Party promo break. So we got the original list here. We're gonna click dice roll, boom. It's a three and a four. Top name at number one gets a spot in the party. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how about that, man? Last spot, Mojo John at the top. Congratulations, buddy. So we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. And this was 22, 23, Bowman, U, Best, 4 case, random letter number one. 
So thank you guys. Appreciate it, guys. Get some more breaks done tonight. Thank you.